Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm KPG, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Origami King. Today, uh, we are going to make our way through the Scorching Sandpaper Desert. In the last episode, unfortunately, um, we had to part with Bobby. He made the ultimate sacrifice and sacrificed himself and blew up in order to save Olivia from the giant boulder that Ollie thrust upon her. But it's not all bad because we got this sweet new ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not all that bad. Uh, so it's been a little bit since the last episode, uh, but we're back, and I just wanted to point out that uh, there is going to be a schedule change uh, in my uploading, my uploading schedule. I originally was doing uploads every day, but I recently started college, so uh, it's, it's just not really like, I don't think it's a good idea to try to continue doing daily uploads uh, and college. I, f I just feel like that's not like... I don't know, I'm just going to end up being way too stressed and like, it's not going to be good. So I decided to change up my schedule and now I'm going to just be uploading on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. On Mondays, I'm going to upload um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Wednesdays, we're going to be uploading um, Paper Mario the Origami King. And then Fridays, we're going to be doing some Smash Bros. stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm sure if like, I get a, you know, big enough break, we'll probably go back to uploading some more. Uh, but I'll just do that for now with the series we've got going, and we'll go from there. So anyways, yeah, let's do this thing. It's really big. Wow. I guess it must be the desert after all, since it's just a wide open space filled with sand. It's darkness, though. Wait, where's the sun? Do you think it's hiding away because it's angry about something? Wouldn't be the first time <laughs> dealing with an angry sun. Oh, I don't want to have to do with that, though. I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to face the angry sun. That'd be crazy. Huh, that can't be good. No wonder it's so dark out here. Boy, it's not just dark. It's actually like there's a black hole in the sky. What a strange place. A desert with a black hole in the sky where the sun should be. How could that even happen? How could someone get all the way up there and open up a hole? Well, at least it's not scorching hot out here right now. Should we try not to worry about the black hole for now and head for the streamer instead? Yeah, that sounds probably like a good idea. We don't need to concern ourselves with little things like that. Do da dee da. Hey, there's a toad here. Can we ram into him? Boom! Boom! <laughs> it seems like that's not doing anything. Alright, let's help him out the old fashioned way. Good old yoinking him out of the ground like a turnip. Ah, thank you, and welcome to the scorching sandpaper desert where it's always scorching hot. Except right now, I guess. Come on, desert. Scorch, you're making me look bad. Gosh. False advertising, man. False advertising is killer. What is this? What is this doing right here? Yeah, I was wondering about those spots, too. They're cute, but I don't think hitting them does anything. <laughs> well, at least they knew we were going to hit it. Man. I mean, yeah, anytime I see something weird, I'm just going to, like, smack it, but... It doesn't seem that we can do anything with that now. Let me boost through it. It doesn't really seem to be doing anything. All right. Onward toward the streamer, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I mean, I guess we can grab this item. This car makes travel much easier. I imagine trying to walk through this without this car would be a real pain. Like, <laughs> incredibly long and boring. Thank you. As a show of gratitude, I'll point you to that significant-looking altar just over there with the save block. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of heading there anyway, but now that I have confirmation, I know that I was doing the right thing after all. Huh, what's this? Some kind of platform? Is that a picture of the sun? Better not be doing some weird ritualistic stuff here. I'm not into that. I, I don't want to mess around with this. Ah, yes, let me see here. He reads, yeah. Sorry, I guess I can't actually read it after all. Gosh dang it, Olivia. I sure wish I could, though. Well, I wonder what that means. Whoa, this is the biggest bowl of oatmeal I've ever seen. Somebody out here sure loves their breakfast. Oh, wait, this is sand. So what's this thing for, anyway? Should we try putting something there? Well, I doubt we have what we need right now, but we'll have to remember uh, this little area if we do get something important later on. 
Back to following the streamer. Well, never mind. <laughs> Gotta rip this off. Gotta rip this off and get our uh, quick travel pipe option for the... I don't know what you call it. Like the, the, pipe area, the pipe area in Toad Town. Oh, that's a dry bone. You're not interested in that. I'm not interested in you, buddy. Stay back. Yeah, I don't know what you would call that area. I mean, it's in the museum type thing. It's in the museum is where we uh, go with, like, all of the warp pipes to travel around the world. But I don't know what you would actually call that area. I'm not entirely sure. There's something over here that looks pretty important. Huh, what's this? It looks like there's a way inside. Should we try it out? It's a giant tower of a toad? Whoa, look at this huge lanky guy. And the top almost looks like someone we know, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a big old toad. I don't know what use that has. But let's enter this toad statue. And see what secrets it may hold inside. Oh, that's a lot of stairs for you, I mean. Thanks for carrying me so often. Do you think we're in this lanky tower's head yet? I don't know, it looks like we might be peering out the eye. Hey, it's a cute little window where you can see outside your place a little knick-knack. Should we try putting something there to see how it looks? We don't have anything shaped like that. Alright, add that to the list of things we need to come back for at a later point in time. What's this? Some writing again? Ah, oh, more of that strange writing. I don't suppose you want me to try reading it again. Sure there's a lot of this strange writing around. Yeah, it sure would be nice if we had a way to translate it. At this point, all we're doing is just, yeah, I mean, to us, it's just gibberish, like what Olivia tried to, when she tried to read it. Uh, wait, is that a, is that a toad spider? Come here. I know a toad when I see one. Can't get past me. You ever take a close look at the top of the tower? It looks familiar, right? Like a weird-looking face? On second thought, it's actually kind of handsome. I wonder why you would think that. I wonder why a toad would think that this statue is handsome. It just doesn't make any kind of sense. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. So I'm guessing we just have to follow the streamer. Like, I would assume that that's probably what the game is wanting us to do. But I kind of want to explore, you know? I want to see what this area has to offer. See if I can find any more life up hearts or something. Or, like, max HP up hearts. But, fine, fine. If there's nothing we can do right now, we might as well go ahead and follow that streamer. It looks like it ends over here. Or at least the visible part of it ends. Also an item block over here. Uh, all of the question mark blocks hit for Scorching Sand Miner. Flashy iron boots. Well, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, if we get in a boss fight with something spiky, that'd be good. Don't you think we should try following the streamer first? Fine. Fine, game. I understand. I'm not allowed to explore. All right. Fine. Let's go here. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Hey, it's the end of the streamer. We did it. I don't see a spool, though. You know, it wasn't easy to get here. Following the red streamer and then the blue one. We've had some hard moments and some sad ones. But now, finding the yellow streamer like this, it feels like we finally caught a break. Wait, where's the end? Is it buried in the sand? Oh no! What are we gonna do? We can't dig into the sand, can we? I mean, all it would take is, like, a couple shovels, I feel like. Wait, wait, there's something written on the base. Maybe it's instructions for how to dig down. Ah, uh, yes, yes! It's those mysterious letters again! I can't make folds or tails of this! Just when my spirits were so high, I don't know what to do, and the sun is just gone. I need a ray of light. One bright ray would do so much for me right now. Whoa, there are at least three rays of light over there. Maybe even four. Yeah, they're giving me hope again. And they're so beautiful. Rays like that could only come from a lively place filled with lots of helpful people, right? Maybe there's even someone there who can read those mysterious letters for us. Wouldn't that be convenient? <laughs> that sure would be very convenient. Almost too good to be true. Almost as if it was scripted that way. If that were the case. I wonder what Velumental we're getting in here. Like, 
It's gonna be like a sand valumental, a desert valumental, or something like that. Uh, something with the power to control the sand. Scorching sandpaper east. I'm not sure that this is where we need to go. In fact, it probably isn't where we need to go, and I'm gonna get out of here. As this doesn't seem to be following those lights that Olivia was talking about. Um, I'm sure I'll have to come back here at a later point in time, but I don't feel like it's going to do us any good to explore that area just yet. Let's try heading up over to here first. Uh, have this rave over here. Something going on. Some kind of party's going on over here. Alright, what's, what's going on? What is going on over here? Don't tell me there's a party you didn't invite me, especially at Shroom City. Come on. I'm like the Shroom Master here. Wow, look at this. The lights. The sights. It's all so bright. What a night. I'm a poet, right? No. Not even close. All right, what are you guys, the bouncers? Sorry, this is a VIP entrance to the desert. Only key-carrying guests at the hotel can enter. You say the same thing? VIP entrance to the desert. Okay, fine. I'm not a VIP. I get it. Jeez. Boot car parking, one spot open. Oh, well, shoot, fine. <laughs> if I would have known that, I would have done that from the first place. All right, let's get it in here. There we go. Hey, nice job with the parking. We even got a coin for it. That's cool. It's pretty neat. Welcome to Sniff City, a desert oasis by and for Sniffits. You, you might have heard some other name for it. Just disregard that. Sit Sniffy. I see. Sit Sniffy. So Sin City, is that what you're trying to go for, game? That's a weird name. But I can't deny that this place looks really cool. With this many folks bustling around, we're sure to find someone who can help us with those mysterious letters, Mario. Surely! And surely we're not going to get murdered by anyone here. Uh, no. I mean, not like... I mean, I guess if it's like trying to emulate Vegas, I'm sure Vegas is fine. As long as you don't go to, like, bad parts of it, I guess. As long as you stay on the main strip, you'd probably be fine. I've only been to Vegas once, so I'm not entirely sure about everything about it, but that is the case. Sniff it to my left, sniff it to my right. That's Sniff City for you. It's got to be Sin City, right? Sniff City, Sin si er, what was it? Sit Sniffy? Sniff City? Like... All of that just sounds way too close. Way too close. Um, so what's going on in Sniff City? This dude is... This dude is zonked out. Don't mind me, just sniffing the bed. Okay. Hey, don't act like you wouldn't be sniffing if I weren't here first. Wait, are you not a sniff it? Dude, I don't want to sniff someone else's body on the bed. Especially if this, I mean, if this is your own, if this is your own room and it's been cleaned, I mean, maybe, sure. But if this is like, if you just wandered in some random person's house like me, I would not be sniffing their bed. Not even close. <laughs> oh, there's a hidden block there. Cool. Ice flower. Uses to throw ice balls at enemies in a straight line. I just, I will totally admit that I just found that completely at random. I just jumped, and what do you know, we hit a hidden block. <laughs> it works, though, I'll take it. At least you're not sniffing the bed here. This place was vacant, so I just moved in. Free rent and all the rugs I can scuffle across. What a deal. What a deal indeed. Are there any hidden blocks in here? Or just in the other room? I guess that's... I guess there's probably nothing in here. The music's pretty cool in this area. It's like a hype desert type tune. Sounds about right. Can we seesaw with this guy? <laughs> Alright, I hope you like seesawing, dude. Weak, I want to be launched. Do it harder. Well, I don't know that I can do it harder. I'd have to jump off from the top of this building, probably. I don't know how to get up there, though. If I could get up there, we could totally launch him. We could just hop off the side of the building onto this plank here and then shoot him all the way out. 
coconuts here? Confetti coconuts? Alright, what are you doing over here, buddy? Ah, oh, the water is so pretty at night, which is 100% of the time now that the sun is gone. Yo, what, what's going on with that? Is the sun just at that killer party, just going at it? Fun, funky, and functional, just like every other place that is similar to this. You can get a silver guard plus, silver heart plus. Raises your HP a lot during battle. I still haven't really seen that at work, I don't think. We can get it, though. I don't really think I've seen that at work. I mean, maybe? Raises it during battle. Hidden block alert. That would be really cool, actually. That would be really cool. Reduce the amount of damage. But that's, like, that's better. We don't have enough coins to do both. We'll have to come back if we get some more coins. Because I kind of want that hidden block bell thing. Hidden block alert. I feel like that would be pretty cool to have. It should give us some good items and sort of pay for itself. Right. We raise our HP a lot during battle. I, st I don't know what that exactly means. But it's not too big of a deal. And while I'm thinking about it, let's actually take a mushroom because we are low on health. I mean, there's, I mean, there might be a bench around here somewhere, so I might have just wasted a mushroom. But the mushrooms are pretty cheap, so I don't care too much. It's not like I'm throwing away, like, a flashy mushroom. That would be really bad. Ah, Traveler, welcome to our Oasis Paradise. You must be tired from traveling such a long way. Perhaps you'd enjoy a rest at this town's fine luxury hotel. I am in no way affiliated with the hotel, and I do not receive a commission. Nope. Uh-huh. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. I just really, really like the hotel. Nothing suspicious going on whatsoever. Move along. Stay at the hotel. <laughs> yeah, we had another visitor recently. Pretty sure he was a toad and not a sniffet. Weird guy. Well, I'm not a sniffet either. Just because, because you sniffets like this place doesn't mean doesn't mean any no one else knows how to party. Can you read that writing? I just know it's important. I wish I could. You can't read this. Imagine if that's actually what the Imagine if that's actually what it translated to. It just says you can't read this. The people that speak that ancient language or whatever are just taunting people. You can't read this. And they actually translate it and it's like, well, dang. Come on, give me some money. Give me something. I don't want to just be in here for no reason. Fine. Alright, have it your way. Don't give me anything. Gosh. Some way to welcome your guests. <laughs> uh, what's, what's in here? Anything of value or importance? Even slightly important? I mean, it looks like there's a toad in here, I guess. That's, that's what I would consider slightly important. <laughs> He's just chilling on the wall with a blank face. Oh, thanks for that. No one buys sound discs anymore, so I thought I'd be there forever. I'm surprised the store still exists. To be honest, the owner isn't even here half the time. That must be the weird toad they were talking about. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's a pretty strange guy if he's just chilling on the <laughs> on the wall. Alright, and the last door of this area. There's a chest. There's a chest in here. So, I mean, there's a hole, it looks like, in the wall up there. So maybe what we do is we go through, or back through that middle door, that this room here. Maybe we can... Uh, it must be behind that painting-looking thing. Must be a, an entrance to that room. There we go. There we go. Now we can get that treasure chest. Not like it's a super big deal. It's not like these chests really give us anything that important, but... Bag of confetti. I feel like it's really late to be giving us this, but sure. <laughs> but sure, I guess. Also, you would think it would take confetti to get the bag of confetti one, but... Whatever. <laughs> I'm not the game designer, so it's not my call. It's not up to me. But if it was, I would consider it. So why are these stairs out? <laughs> Can't even climb them. Did someone just party too hard? And of course there's a bench. 
Of course there is a bench. Okay, whatever. Even without the sun, this place is so bright. It's like it never sleeps. All right. Uh... Just while we're over here, is there anything important, or are you guys just random characters? Isn't this a tranquil pond? It's so smooth and calm, it's almost like a mirror. Well, it's not a mirror. I'll see my reflection. Some say this place used to be known as Shroom City. All I know is that it was completely vacant when a Sniffus moved in. Finders keepers, right? I don't know. The law might say otherwise, but we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, all right, so Shroom City is now Sniff City. So this place used to be owned by toads? You can't read this. Ancient toads? <laughs> Something? Welcome to the Sniff City Royal Hotel, Traveler. Oh, it's incredible. We've been working pretty hard, right? Do we deserve a little rest? Maybe even room service? Please, room service. I'm famished. <laughs> I'd love me some room service. I will never say no to that. Give me a giant bowl of pasta. Call me Mario, man. They call me Mario. Give me some pasta. <laughs> when they shine all four lights on the front of the building, it's really something. So this is this going to be like a casino? What the heck? This is a genie's lamp? <laughs> I saw it, so I had to head over here. What is this? Under construction, a giant genie lamp with an L on it. Is Luigi going to start handing out advice? Is he going to become a fortune teller or something? Did Luigi get trapped inside of a genie's lamp? These are all the questions we need to be asking ourselves. Hey, where are the wise? I don't trust the snippet who's setting up that tent with the lamp on top. Well, to be honest, I don't know that I do either. <laughs> I don't know that I trust him either. But we should probably give him a shot. So at least check out what it is when it is finished being constructed. Okay, but as I was saying, is this going to be like a casino or something? Because if so, I am definitely down to gamble. <laughs> we need money after all. I can assure you that we spare no expense to provide the ultimate in luxury and hospitality. I don't know, there was a, a staircase that was broken over there. I'm pretty sure you spared at least some expenses. No! I I was trying to talk to the dude to the left of me, and then I accidentally wandered out. <laughs> Alright, let's just look like a giant idiot. Walk out, and then walk right back in. Oh, sorry, I didn't know how physics worked. Okay, dude. He's in my seat. Yes, I'm aware that there's another seat open. Okay. Bro, I'm vibing so hard with this music. It's like I'm totally oblivious to everything else. I feel you, dude. Music is pretty baller out here. This guy knows how to be a DJ. What's up? You got a request? Oh, I forgot. I don't take requests. Scram. Don't need to be so rude about it. I'm incapable of embarrassment. Smack. Is this embarrassing? Huh? How do you like getting worked over by Mario like this, huh? <laughs> we'll find a way to embarrass you. Don't worry. Do you think the lampshaded stall behind the hotel is fishy? Why is it taking so long to set up? I don't know. I want to check it out. No, this music started going ham. <laughs> this music started going ham. There's a room over here. What are you doing over here? Shady looking sniffit. Hey, I found something you might be interested in among all this mess. It's at the front desk. The front desk? Where's the front desk? I don't know. I see a toad, though. I'm interested in that, especially if he's going to give me a life or a max HP up heart. Wait, have I been missing a pool party? Just fold me back up, Mario. Oh, no heart. No heart. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, I don't know about the front desk. Is the front desk, like, further out? Also, I don't think we can talk to this guy on the surfboard. Well, I totally would. Also, it looks like he has the keys we need. We're probably going to have to shut the water off at some point. Did I already talk to this guy? Can you believe that guy serving in the fountain? Where'd that board even come from? Beats me, but we need to take the keys from him. Whatever he's... I don't know how he got them, but we need them. 
Uh, okay, this must just be the front desk that dude was talking about. Okay, looking for a room? Go check in at the front desk. I'm just the designated lobby pacer. Sounds reasonable enough. I can dig it. Welcome, welcome. It's always such a pleasure to encounter travelers like yourselves. Oh, excuse me. Unfortunately, we are fully booked at the moment. I've heard that sleeping in the desert is an option. Oh, we're not looking for a room. We're looking for a person who can read the mysterious letters. Is there anyone like that staying here? Oh, Professor Toad. You're working with him? Well, he's out right now, unfortunately. I suppose I can give you the key to his room if you're working together. Have a good day. Well, I never said that, but thanks for giving me the key to this dude's room. I'll be happy to barge in. Where is he? Where is the professor? Mario, I think the clerk thinks we're working with some kind of Professor Toad. How lucky are we? <laughs> Fooling someone and being fraudulent. This is great. Uh, this might be our chance to meet someone who can read the mysterious letters. Up the stairs at the end of the second floor hallway. Can't miss it. I hope you guys keep each other busy talking about, well, is it archery arts for hours and hours? <laughs> I can't wait to meet this mysterious professor. Imagine if, like, instead of Professor Toad, they brought back Professor Frankly. That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> come on, Professor Frankly, come back to us. Oh, well. So it looks like there's a lot of rooms on this floor, too. Uh, but we don't have the keys for them. Okay, never mind. I mean, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> We'd only be able to enter the room we have the key for, but... I don't know, usually in places like this, people leave their stuff open. Hey, look at this! There's a huge picture all along the wall. It's incredible. What is it, though? It's almost like a comic book. Would we call it a comic wall? Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but it looks like there's a giant phoenix on the right. And that statue that we saw earlier in the middle. I don't know what the left thing is, though. Oh, and there's some more of that mysterious lettering, too. I sure hope the toad we're looking for can help us read this language. It seems like it's everywhere. Is he going to be our new partner to replace Bobby, then? Rest in peace, Bobby. Gone too soon. This must be the professor's room, then? The key isn't working. What's going on? Ah, pardon me. You too. I completely forgot earlier. We down... Er, upgraded your friend to a different room. Yeah, uh, upgraded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the first floor in one of our basic trademark rooms. Sorry for the mix-up. Just follow me. I'll show you. Well, all right then, fine. I was gonna say, like, wow, we get this amazing, like, room, this, basically the whole floor to ourselves, that's awesome, but nope, he got downgraded. <laughs> no respect for the professor. All right, show me the room, show me what's going on, and here we are, through this doorway, then first door on your left, my apologies. So, if we actually had tried it, we would have gotten it right. <laughs> I didn't use the key because I didn't think this was his room, but that's pretty hilarious. I could have actually just used that by <laughs> complete accident. Oh, it is pretty nice. Oh, oh, it is pretty nice. I want room service. It's my first time in a hotel. And look at this bed. It's classy yet cozy. I could just lie there and unfold. You're really just laying on this random professor's bed? Ah, but I suppose we don't really have time to relax. So is there anything around here that could help us find that professor, Mario? Well, it looks like he's got a diary of some sort. It'd be nice if we could open this thing and get something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's probably in this diary-looking thing. Archaeology log, day XX. At long last, a clue. This may unlock the secrets of the ancient ones. I have recently discovered an ancient treasure, an item that could prove key in my research. I have loosely translated its name as Sun Incense, and it appears to play a role in certain ancient ceremonies. Archaeology Log, Day XX. I have obtained the Sun Incense from the Sniffet for a fair price. My preparations are complete. I now make for the Sun Altar. What did you learn, Mario? Is that his journal? I can't read his handwriting, so you'll have to help me. Does it say anything about where he went or if he took anything with him? It sounds like he's at the Sun Altar, which I would guess is that one we saw earlier. That altar we saw earlier on. I would guess that's where he is. But, you know what? I think this is a pretty good spot to end today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. 
Uh, if you guys did, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all the good stuff. It would really help out, and I would appreciate it. Uh, once again, changing up the schedule, so the next episode of this should hopefully go up on Wednesday. Uh, I may miss an upload here or there because, um, obviously, I, I gotta prioritize college above YouTube, you know. <laughs> it just makes sense. Uh, so if I, I miss an upload here or there, you know, I'm not dead. I'm not, I'm not dead. I'm not quitting YouTube or giving up necessarily. I'm just probably... Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Probably just a little bit more busy than usual. So nothing to worry about. But yeah, that, once again, that's going to do it for today. So thank you all so much for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.